Hello and what's up guys, this is Rohit from Alro Developers and this is part 2 for the video series of loading a table view with custom zip file. In this part we will be talking about how to set the height of that row in dynamic environments where you know the text of one label is changing, is, is more or less, it's coming from the internet. So let's proceed with it. Okay, so to set the text, we will have to do some changes in the zip file. We will go and check the label first and set the lines to zero. That means it is, it is now accepting multiple lines. Next thing we have to do is we have to set this to world wrap. What this will do is it will wrap this intense when the width is over and it will take it to the new line. And uh, we are taking, let's see the constraints, trailing width, and we'll just set this, okay, so that it does not go, so the text does not go way to the end, update constraints, okay, and uh, that's fine, let's see the image, we have given bottom space to the image and this will be bad for the image as the image will go right the bottom it, it, its height will increase when the height of the row will increase and we don't want that with the image and for this also there's a bottom space so we'll be removing this too and I'll give this a height because I know that whatever is going to come in this label is just numbers one two three so it won't matter to this label and uh, same for the image we have the flags of countries and I'll keep it constant of height okay this fixes this and we'll just see what the width of the label is this label is having 152 width okay let's proceed we first go and enter a method table sorry table view height for row at index bar exactly this is the method you want and we will first take the cg size make constraint cg size make and we have to pass in width so we know the label width is 152 and for the height we will put cg load load max right now we will create a CG size, I'll call this my bounding box and I'll, I'll define the size uh, depending on the content here and the content we, is actually the right array right so this is what is going to increase and notice that that when we'll change the right array content it will it will make it bad for the flag image because we are calling it from this text so we'll quickly go and change copy this array and just make it an image array we'll call it img array and here i'll just define it in this array img array and here now i'll pass image array object at index index path dot row okay this will keep sorry about that this will keep the image names intact and let's proceed with the bounding box so yes as i was saying that it was it's the right array this content is going to change let's say this right array is coming from the internet so we will be doing it locally i'll change the text here locally and uh, we'll see the implementation but let's say this data is coming from the service online so if let's say here in india uh, we have this many indias and let's say for germany we have these many germany and that's your data that's the changed data so 
what's common in hyperoid index path and sulfuroid index path is the index path and you have to exploit that information to achieve your goal so I'll, I'll tell you how to do that mm, let's first get I'll first get the right array and the object at index and I'll get obviously the index path dot row this will give me the text and depending on that text now i'll create my bounding rect bounding rect with size but we also want to add attributes to it so i don't see attributes here mm, yeah this one this is the one we have to call and in the size we will be adding constraints and in the option, obviously in a string drawing user line from the origin, this one, and in the attributes, we'll just be like NS font attribute name, and it will be UI font UI, UI font and system font of size 17.0 this is the font size we are using in the label you can see it right here system 17 we have to define that so that it's it, I'll explain you the whole code in a moment so just give me some time for that give me some, a calendar. and 17 and close that and in the context we'll just pass in nil and that makes this and I'll extract the size of that whole thing that makes my bounding box and now I can just ns log this bounding box so that will be percent %f and I will want the seal value of bounding box dot height and now one thing to note here is let's say my height that I get for this label is less than the actual height of the cell which is 44 so I'll, I'll have to make a logic box here logic component that defines that let's do that if the seal value of bounding box dot height is less than 44 then I want to return the height as 44 because that's my standard height right uh, else I want to return the ceiling value sorry about that ceiling value of my bounding box dot height so I, I want to return this and this one was that height plus I'm gonna add four pixels so it you know does not stick to it so that's probably the logic here let's try and run it now and yes it does that so now you can see India has as many India as we put and Germany has different height India has different height and as you can see in here it says 80 61 for India I guess and 82 something for Germany yeah so that's how we do it uh, thanks for watching guys please like comment and subscribe have a good day thanks